Welcome back, friends and friends. Just quickly, these two part to this Audi e-tron series. And why e-tron is because this is an RS e-tron GT, so basically the Grand Tour. I don't know if that's Rally Sport, could be, could not be, but anyway. We have the Mattel there. We have the four, 5 out of 5. Uh, because the green speed, I do believe the 4 out of 5, the Lucid Air, I've already covered it. So, so with regards to the Matchbox, the one thing missing from this Audi is the rear view mirrors. I don't know how important that is, but anyway, it's hit and miss with me. So there we have the battery charging, the 5 out of 5, Audi RS e-tron, Hot Wheels green speed. Exact same thing as what we saw through the Matchbox, because it's Mattel, so they can do whatever they want. And there we have the Audi stuff. Other than that, we do see here it is a release from last year, 2021. And the exact same thing we would have seen on the Mattel. And everything else is not for ages under 36 months. And then here we have the Audi RS e-tron GT. So basically the package is the same old, same old. Uh, with regards to the Matchbox, is it better, is it worse? It's probably identical. They've just flipped the car. With the model itself, we can see once again... Uh, more or less they're getting better with these w plastic covers for the windows we can see right through it and so i brought this up with the uh Aguilera tron which is right here it is for some unknown reason the front is easy to see through but then the back is not easy to see through so i don't know what's going on there anyway with this audi the rs e-tron gt we do see that they have also once again which is nice but unlike the regular e-tron is the front license plate just say something and it says e-tron gt there we have the audi rings both the lights have sort of i said it was an r or a highway driving up a highway but i mean i'm pretty sure it's just the design it looks like chevrons on a road or it looks like a highway there's the front splitter, as we know, this is an electric car. So the one thing that I will say, though, is it's really weird, is <coughs> we have the charge port here, and we have the charge port here. However, the charge port on this side doesn't look like it's supposed to be there because it is not as strongly stamped in. While you can clearly see the difference, uh, let me try to get a better shot of it. Can see the difference there so i do believe it is the driver side and not the passenger side but it's just been stamped anyway and if we can see here the back door sort of just fades into the uh, fender here you have a clear indent there for the door but then not here so i don't know what's going on no b pillar or it's an internal b pillar so and into the back they've painted right sorry again right across for the wraparound rear lights there's the Audi, there's the e-tron GT, we have Quattro on the right, and we have, I forget what this it says RS, so it's RS, Quattro, and then e-tron GT, just to spell out the entire name in case you forgot what it was, and there's the Audi, nothing else that's overly unique about this vehicle. Other than, once again, the door fades into the back there. It literally just disappears. You can see the clear cutout for this door. And then nothing for that door. So I don't know what to say. But as long as it rolls perfectly, nobody really cares. So as we can see, this is a re-release. It's obviously last year. And for once, they do put the entire name of the vehicle. Audi RS e-tron GT. And the underside is extremely plain because it has electric motors and no need for any of those mechanical bits. So, without anything else to cover, I do like it. It looks a lot like an A5, so, I mean, it's not terrible. But like I said, it's just kind of weird with the fading in, no rear mirrors, and the two, you can see it there, the charge port. And then you can sort of see where it is halfway there, but not clearly there. And so there we have it, the RSGT from Audi, their e-tron version of this. And the roll test, once again, playing the gravity, rolls perfectly. So, thank you fans and friends for watching. This is Thomas from Toronto, and to the next one.